from Studio 2A in Pix Plaza, you're watching the Pix 11 Morning News with Sukanya Krishnan and Corey Chambers. It is 736. Milder temperatures are on our side, but you know what? With that heavy snow, you know what? Shoveling could really hurt you. Yeah, of course, we've seen tragedy so far uh, with this storm, but you could be injured as well. Lisa Mateo live in Newark with some tips that could spare you some pain. Lisa, take it away. All right, Lisa, confess. You were shoveling yesterday, and what happened to you? Yeah. And you're in the best shape of your life, and I can I vouch for that. I am, and I was a little sore this morning because I did it all wrong, but John Gallucci here, he's going to tell me exactly what I did wrong. So, John, a lot of people out there, they're still shoveling the snow. First, let's start with the type of shovel, first well, of all, because mine looks a little different than yours. This is a great ergonomic shovel. It gets you a little bit deeper to use your legs. Okay. You want to get under the snow and lift with your legs, and then put the snow aside. Okay, so but, what I was doing wrong, I was going from here, and I was trying to uh, lift because, you know, snow, I'm, I'm so strong, and that's not the way that's to do it. way too much snow. You want okay. to make sure you get down low, use your legs, a little bit of snow, and move it. You also want to chop some snow okay. from higher layers and then dig down and make sure you're turning around and you're on both sides. Otherwise, ah, if you rotate too much, rotate. you're going to get too sore in your back and your hamstrings. All right, so it's making it even on both sides, you making it, it even. Okay. Now, people out there who are shoveling, who are people who are at risk for this? Well, you have people that with high cholesterol, people that smokers are right. very high risk of heart attack. You got to be careful of that. As we know, a couple of people have passed because of heart of attack. Course, right. You want to basically take your time, small, small uh, loads of small snow, loads. making sure that you, you, you're doing it slow and taking okay. some breaks. And also, hydration is very important. Of course, Most you forget people about don't that. realize that you dehydrate quickly. Because your body's trying to stay warm, so it's important we to get those legs, get the legs. Those legs and use your lift. legs, That's not it. your back. Now here's the other thing. Okay, so people are at home who've been digging since Saturday, since yep. the storm, and they're home. They're feeling the pain. What should they do now? Just like an athlete, they get delayed onset muscle soreness. You need to move around. You need to get your heart rate up, get that circulation going. It'll decrease the muscle soreness. Just as if you worked out in the gym, it's the same thing. You're doing an activity repetitively. You want to make sure you decrease that soreness mm -hmm. by moving and getting circulation. Going. So, John, you're telling me if, let's say, your husband did some shoveling and is at home and sitting on the couch because he's in pain, that's not the right thing to do? He's got to get off his butt. <laughs> he's got to move. A stationary bike, maybe some jumping jacks, jogging plays, jumping some light jacks. stretching, just to get him going and get that circulation going. Because if you don't, you just stiffen up. You is get that what stiffer, okay. your muscle gets into spasm, and then unfortunately, you got to come visit me at Jag Physical Therapy and get treatment. <laughs> you can treat yourself by getting off the couch and just moving. All right. I like that. Yep. Thank you very much. All right, guys, for more information, of course, head over to my Pink Slavin Facebook page, and I'll be posting all this information over there as well. All right, guys, you heard the tips here. Make sure you follow them. We'll send it back to you. Hey, Lisa, oh, man. take a Tylenol for me because I feel it. Like, you, you usually are very uh, <laughs> quick, and <laughs> today you're just kind of like, yeah. Well, I you know. know. It's her and Jose, because I'm like, I'm like, wait, why were you shoveling? And then she's like, well, Jose hurt his back. Yeah, they both hurt their back. And then so. you hurt your back. Uh, so put put Darren out there. Have him get him out there. That's what I'm saying. All right.